In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the base pointer for Tales of Destiny Director's Cut. To do that, we're going to download something called Ghidra, Ghidra, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and get to this website and download version 9.2.2. And then to use it, you're also going to need to get the OpenJDK, so the Java Development Kit. Get version 11 so that it works with Ghidra. And you also want to get this uh, Ghidra extension called Emotion Engine by Beardy Pig on GitHub. So I've already downloaded that here to my desktop. And I've already extracted it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open this up. That's what Ghidra looks like. And this is the extension. Now we also want to get the... Uh, the file that we want to work with. This is the SLPS file that we can basically make a menu patch out of. There it is. I just left it on my desktop for now. So in order to run this, make sure you have the Java Development Kit version 11 installed and then double click on this Ghidra run.bat file. So basically it's looking for some files now and it's going to open up on my other screen. Great. Okay, we'll just wait for it to load. It doesn't really look too crazy. Okay, startup tips. No, we don't need that. So you're basically going to get something that looks like this. It's a blank um, little window with no active project. Start by going to File and then go to Install Extensions. So you already have the program, but it doesn't know where to find the uh, Emotion Engine extension. So I have already have it installed over here, but what you really want to do is, um, if you don't have this, let's go ahead and uh, click on the plus sign over here, add extension, and then browse to the extension right there. Just select the entire folder and click OK. And that's basically it, and it'll look like this. Once you click OK, you'll get a warning saying that you have to restart the program for the extension changes to take effect. Since I've already added it, I don't really have to do it again. So go ahead and click OK. So once you have the extension installed and restarted the program, go to File and then go to New Project. Okay, You can go with a non-shared project for now and then select the place for your project to live. So in this case, I'm going to leave the project on my desktop and I'm going to call this uh, I don't know, TODDC for now. Okay, there's already a project called that. Okay, that's fine. Let's call this uh, patch or whatever. Okay, click finish. And what you want to do here is uh, go to file again. And then this time we're going to import the file so that we can disassemble or I guess uh, try to decompile. I'm going to select the SLPS file that we have here. Okay, and just click OK. Just make sure the language says R5900. That will tell you that the uh, extension is correct. And yeah, go ahead and click OK. Wait for it to load. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so you get a bunch of information over here. You get a summary of the file, kind of memory thing. I don't even know what they are, but looking over here, there's a lot of uh, things that says invalid size, invalid size, but that's okay. You can go ahead and ignore that. Click OK. And what you want to do here is click on this little dragon or the code browser, or you can also right click on the file and then open with code browser. Now you may have to close the program and reopen a few times for this to work. And here's the box that I got. The file SLPS 258.42 has not been analyzed. Would you like to analyze it now? Go ahead and click yes. For now, I'm going to click no and just bring my screen over to the to this side. Okay, so it basically looks like this. So in order to get that screen, go to analysis on the menu bar and go to auto analyze. By default, all of these analyzers are checkmarked. You can go ahead and deselect all. The only one you really need to find the base pointer is this data reference. Click Analyze and wait for it to analyze the file. So you can see the status bar on the bottom right over here. 
And it's done. It doesn't take too long. Okay, now what we want to do is double click on this uh, dot data thing over here. Okay, so this is the information we need, this pointer data to get our base pointer working with cartographer or atlas or a b c d e whatever you want to use but we still need to know the base pointer so since we have this value over here hover your mouse above this above this uh this address you're gonna see a byte source offset is slps basically the file name plus d7 c80 and that's the hex value so basically i think what this is saying is that at this particular position, um, it's pointing to data at the address that is at this address plus D7C80. And then notice how this is uh, reversed. So the data that you see at this address is F8892900, but then it points to data and whatever that's there, it's reversed. It's 2989. 9f so wait, wait 2989f8 so basically f8 is over there but now f8 is at the end 89 is there 89 is now in the middle 29 is there and 29 is at the front and then the zero is basically flip so this basically tells us that it's little endian okay so now time to find the base pointer hover your mouse the magic number that you want here is d7c80 so let's get out our little hex calculator here so windows has a nice programmer um, calculator in here so if you have a regular calculator on windows it basically looks like this so you can switch to the programmer version and click on hex and what you want to do is type in the position of this uh this pointer so it's 1, D, 6, C, 8, 0. Okay, and the data, it's plus D7, C, 8, 0. So what you want to do is subtract that to find the base pointer. Okay, so let's do that. What was the value again? It was D7, C, 8, 0 minus D7, C80. Is that right? D7C80. And there it is. That's your base pointer for Tales of Destiny, Director's Cut FF000, the same number we've been using to extend the length of uh, names of art, spells, and uh, some other descriptions. And that's basically it. Hopefully you can use this for other games, maybe Tales of Rebirth or Tales of Destiny 2. Give that a try. Find the base pointer and see if you can play around. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Have fun. Bye.